PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You see where to follow your boy at. All right, the like button. I appreciate that also, man. Y'all see the title of this particular blog, man. Talk about it. So as of now, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen um, Murder Mook's um, Instagram Live. That's been floating around for hours. I woke up this morning uh, to the news and everything, and I see a bunch of people putting it on their channel and stuff like that about the police at Mook's house. Um, three policemen standing in front of his door. Um, in the words of the late great prodigy, from Mob Deep, when he said NYPD stands for New York Pricks and you know the rest of that. NYPD. Right? Here's my thing, man, while watching this um exchange with Mook and the police and everything. And I know Mook, you you love the saying in your twerk battle, mind your business. But brother, you 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 can't say mind your business when you're putting your business on front street for everyone to ridicule you or dict or, or, or make assumptions. Or, or I see all I see in his comments about Mook's crib and how it looks. I'm not going into that bad. Y'all can have at that, man. I'm not here to do that and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, but Mook, why put the cameras on Instagram Live when it's family business going on? Family business. None of us should be knowing what's going on behind closed doors when it comes to with people and their family, especially in a black black um, bad rap culture. Where everyone, this is this this is the land of the hyenas, the savages, the demons, um, who gonna poke holes and make fun of this and make fun of that, and I'm not here to do that, bro. I done been through a lot of stuff throughout my time, so for me to act holy than thou to see a brother go through something right now, I'm not here to kick a brother when he's down, regardless of me and moves back and forth. See, I can I can separate battle rap from real life, right? And I remember, I remember when I did a blog um, when Mook and Sirius Jones had it back and forth, right? And, and Mook, to me, has seemed a little bit incoherent, a little bit. I don't know if he's on something. I don't know. I'm not here to go into that bag, right? A substance, alcohol, I don't, I don't know. But the brother just seemed a little bit off. Because for, for the most part, we all know Mook is a very, very intelligent brother. Very intelligent brother, right? Very intelligent man. And to see him not go into that intelligent bag or police standing in front of his door, it's deeper than just than just family things he got going on. It's, it's deeper than that. It's none of our business, right? At the end of the day, so I'm, I don't want to pry and try to dig, figure out what's going on. I'm only going off the back and forth. And, and black men, when you watch stuff like this, this should be a lesson to y'all how to act with the boys and stuff. I know a lot of times, you know, y'all, we ain't scared of the boys. Ain't nobody tell you to bow down police, but you got to know in a situation they're, they're knocking on your door, you got to just play chill. And Mook, I was kind of surprised, but smart as you are, brother, you, you did not chill. And that just tells me more, more than I need to know that you weren't in the right frame of mind to think clearly on your actions or what you're doing in front of these, front of the police, brother. You know? <sighs> I see them picking, like I said, they're picking that Mook's crib and, you know, to me, you open a Pandora's box when you do that Mook for the culture. Um, your next opponent, they about to go in personal bags. But, the, and, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't know why Mook, why you ask, ask for your lawyer? Why you ask, ask for your lawyer? I'm pretty sure the money you make on Battle Rap, I would think you have a lawyer on standby or any type of situation that you have going on, brother. You know, and then, then the police asked, when the police got there, they, they told Mook, um, we're not here to arrest, it sounded like they're not here to arrest you, and all of a sudden they went to put a shirt on and stuff like that, right? And when they asked Mook to put a, uh, put a shirt on, you know, he said, to, to, to take your badge off and let's fight. Mook, you have to, you, you, you've been around here for a long time. That sounds like some young man thing to tell the police, put down your badge and let's fight. Come on, brother. This is, on that line alone told me all I needed to know in terms of a situation that Mook has where he's not in the right frame of mind. 
I'm not here to crack on that brother. I'm here to pray for that brother. Everybody got demons. Everyone got a situation that they're going through. You know, a lot of times we make fun of Mook and we say he doesn't finish sentences when he talks and stuff like that. But I'm asking right now, instead of cracking on his crib and what you see, the police flipping over stuff and how y'all feel his crib should look or what it shouldn't look like. I think at a time like this, when we have a legend like that and we, we got love for Mook at the end of the day, he's still one of our brothers, right? Gotta pray for the brother. Pray for his family, man. Because, listen, man, families go through a lot of things. Y'all no one's perfect, bro. If y'all... If y'all are perfect out there and got perfect situations, shout out to y'all, man. I have, not, I have not lived a perfect life. Everything I have not, I've done has not been perfect. I've not been a better version of me. Right? But, Mook, I, I don't know if you... Why, my, my, my main question, and I guess, Mook, you, you can answer this in time, I guess. Why put the cameras on? Were you that scared of your life with the police? It's not like you got pulled over and you put a camera... You, know, you said, let me turn the camera, my camera on. Because the boys are behind you and they're pulling you over and you don't know what could happen. If it's true that, you know, whoever called police in your house, I'm not I'm not here to, to say that whoever did that, whoever called police, there was a reason why they called police, that they said the reason who called police and, and the back and forth that you have police. So whoever called police that living in your house, bro, you had to know you gotta chill. I don't know if you got see I, at 40 plus years of age, man, it's hard for me to snap on somebody when I see them going through something. You can just tell they're going through something. I guess that's where my mind and my heart is at. Like, it's not had a crack on her brother. It's like, I hope he gets help, I guess the help that he can, you know? Just for his own energy, for his own spirit. Mook is one of our legends, bro. This battle rap thing, we, we were watching and talking about me blogging and all, and all this stuff like that. Mook plays a big part in that. I don't want to see a brother like that going down, you know, and, and what they talked about, alleged, alleged what happened in the house. I'm not even going in that bag, bro. And I'm going to let, we'll wait for the full story to come out and tap into that a little bit. We saw the, why they, we heard the reason why they turned the code out to the precinct, precinct and everything like that. But Mook, finding police, bro, you have to be happy, Mook. They ain't, they ain't do nothing to you, brother. Hey. I don't know. And then Mook said, I guess the cops broke down the hinges of his bedroom door or something like that. And Mook, you gotta calm down, bro. Come on, brother. You gotta calm down, my man. Come on, son. Then I heard him say they waiting for EMS. I heard that talking. Mook is one of our legends, one of our goats, man. I'm not here to hold that brother's hand because... Me and Mook ain't always had the greatest of relationships, but I don't, I'm never here to bash when I see a black man go down for anything, especially if it's nothing. But if it's something, then he got to get help if it's something. You know what I mean? And then Mook keep telling them, um, y'all got to kill me and everything like that. Bro, come on. And when, you hear, when you hear that brother say that, that's when you know. There's certain things throughout this conversation with police that's that's a red flag or triggered alarm that I heard that Mook is, is I don't want to say crying for help, but I would like to see the brother, you know, get this situation in order, man. You know what I'm saying? We've seen Mook with his wife on Hip Hop is Real. Uh, I think, I believe, was she at Chrome? Was I think was she at Chrome? Did I meet his wife? I met Mook at Chrome and everything. Like, you know, it's funny meeting Mook at Chrome. It was hilarious because, you know, We've had our back and forths and everything, and then we see each other, like, oh, look at this guy. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. And Mookie, you gotta know you can't resist arrest, bro. You gotta know that, brother, man. You can't resist arrest. And y'all comment section, y'all are brutal, boy. Woo, Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ culture here. Yeah? There's no, there ain't no sympathy in this culture, bro. There's no such thing as sympathy when you go through something, brother. They will, they will get at you. You feel me? So, you know, I don't know, man. But Mook, you, you, you have to know your next battle, bro. Ooh, the angles that whoever your opponent is that you battling, you got to know they're going to take this approach on you. And I would love to know why you felt it was necessary to leave the cameras on. Were you really scared and jeopardy of your life 
that you felt the boys is going to do something to you? I don't know, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's your boy, Three. One.